Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're joining me for the first time, my name is Crystal and you're joining me here on to the bookstore and back. So it's been a really long month. Um, August is crazy. I started school and um, once I started, like it literally hit the ground running so it hasn't stopped. Um, I do apologize right now for this lighting. Anyways, I just kind of like wanted to get into it and just let you know what I finished in August and what I'm going to be reading in September. So if you'd like to see what I re finished reading in August and or like to see what I'm going to be reading in September, just stay tuned and I'll begin with that. Okay guys, so I apologize. I put my hair up because I'm just so hot right now that I just... I needed to put my hair up so anyways I hope you don't mind the lighting and I apologize for this like lighting thing that's going on but just you know think of it as a, a glow from within <laughs> um, August was really productive even though I started school most of everything I read was towards the beginning of the month um, and not at the end because the end I have so much reading to do for school so I don't know how the next couple months are gonna go with my reading and how much reading I'm gonna get done but hopefully I can get done Enough. For the month of August, I'm just going to run through real fast. Let me just wrap it up. Okay, so in August, I finished reading Wind Witch by Susan Denner, which was the sequel to Truth Witch, and <clears throat> it was good. Um, I don't think it was a great novel, and I think Truth Witch was better than Wind Witch. Wind Witch was a good filler novel for the sequel, so we'll see what happens in the next book. I think the next one's gonna be called Blood Witch, so I'm excited for that. The next book I finished was Close Enough to Touch by Colleen Oakley. If you like everything, everything, you would like this Close Enough to Touch. It's about a girl who has a, a life-threatening disease um, where she's basically allergic to humans. Um, she's allergic to any type of touch. Like, it sends her whole body into anaphylactic shock, um, which is a serious issue for her. Um, and because of this, she closes herself off and hasn't left her house since she graduated high school and it's years later and finally she does leave her house and you kind of follow her through it's not young adult it's definitely an adult novel you are following her um adult life so you're kind of seeing like how she struggles with um kind of reintegrating into society again but it's really good i enjoyed it it's a love story too so i just i really loved it uh, next book I read was Our Dark Duet, which recently came out, which is the, um, the sequel in the duology to The Savage Song by Victoria Schwab. That was a really good book. It really took me for a loop. Like, I was just like, whoa, like, I couldn't stop reading it. I think it was a great follow-up novel and a great end to the duology. I wish there was more, but sadly... It was the end because it is a duology. The next book I read was Tears We Cannot Stop by Michael Eric Dyson, um, A Sermon to White America. That book was very, it was very good. I read it as an audiobook and as a um, physical book and I liked it. I definitely think that it makes you aware of certain things and it definitely resonated with me. And I think that if you have any interest in Black Lives Matter, or just even like the political state of our country, um, the state of white against black or white against any type of minority right now, I would definitely recommend this book just to make you more aware of what's going on and kind of see someone else's point of view. I think that we should all just kind of like dive into each other's cultures and kind of just try to understand each other better. And I feel like this book definitely does that. So um, I really enjoyed that book. So the last book I read was The Beauty of Darkness by Mary E. Pearson, and that was the the end to the trilogy of the Remnant Chronicles, and I loved that book. I really loved the Remnant Chronicles. That series was really good. I thought it was just a really awesome like adventure the whole time, and a great love story, and it had a great twist that first book. I don't know. I can't say enough about it. I really enjoyed it. So yeah, that was my August um, to my August wrap up. I only read five books total. That's kind of like basically what my 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 wrap ups are gonna look like for the next couple of months. My TBRs are gonna be really ambitious, but my wrap ups are gonna be like, uh, yeah. September TBR was 
that epic? I don't know. Anyways, my September TBR is going to include some audiobooks and also some regular books, which I have here. Um, some, like, not regular. They're just written, like, hard, hard copy books. A lot of the books that when I try to when I rent books I don't know if I mentioned this in my last video but whenever I rent books I try and rent the audiobook as well so that I can read it um in the car when I'm driving to school when I'm coming home from school it gives my mind a break from um work you know whenever I can do whenever I can like do something while I'm reading that's awesome one book that I am reading um that recently just came out as a new release is a map for wrecked girls it's by jessica taylor it follows two sisters and i think uh, some other characters that get stranded on an island um actually i don't know if it's an island they just get shipwrecked and they're stuck there and the problem is they don't they haven't been speaking to each other and i guess we kind of see like how they're gonna save their sisterhood i don't know but i heard it's really good and i'm excited to keep reading the next book i'm going to read is behold the dreamers i've actually started this already and i think i already had it on one of my tbrs i'm reading it now i actually started it so i'm only in chapter six and i'm also reading it as an audiobook so this book is by mbolo and boy i think i said that right hopefully i did um she's so pretty like look at her poppin yeah Okay, so this is following Jende Jonga, a Cameroonian immigrant living in New York, Harlem. Um, and he has a wife and a kid. And they are immigrants. He's looking for a job so he can get his papers to stay in the United States. And he gets hired by this wealthy senior executive. And he becomes their chauffeur. He kind of gets dragged into their life. And his family gets dragged into the life of this executive and... There's a whole bunch of stuff that just goes awry in this book. So I'm excited to get even get deeper and find out what it's what's going on in it. Um, I picked it up because it was an Oprah's Book Club 2017 selection. I saw it like that in, in um, the Barnes & Noble display. And I was like, oh, my God, I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it. Let's see what Oprah got for me. Okay. The next book I'm reading is The Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern. I apologize for the glare if there is any glare. But this book has been rated like so high and people speak so highly of this book that I had to like read it. Um, I read Caravelle and that was kind of like circusy, like, you know, mystical vibe. <laughs> and I think this one is kind of following that same route, even though this one was written first. So I think that um, the other one was following this one, <laughs> but we'll see. Um, so yeah, so far I rented it from the library. It's kind of an older copy, but um, so far so good. I'm also about 80 pages in and I'm reading this as an audiobook and a physical copy. So I, I think it's basically about like two illusionists that have to go head to head basically and they kind of fall in love with each other but there can only be one. So I think that's what it's about. Don't quote me. The next book I'm reading is called Midnight Jewel. This one's by Rachel Mead. It is the second book in the Glittering Quartz like it's a glittering court novel. I don't know if I want to call it a series because it's not a continuation of a story. It's more like um, the first book was the glittering court. I know you've seen it. Um, it followed Adelaide, which was this is the main character in the first book. It follows her perspective, and then this follows Mira, um, who. So it's basically telling the same story but from her perspective. But I did read a lot of reviews that said it was different. There were overlapping things because of course it still has to follow the story that was already told but you're in her head so what she's gone through she was very mysterious in the first novel so what what she's going through you're following which i think is really cool um i think it's that that's a really hard thing to do as an author is to kind of like write multiple books that are following the same story but not make them the same story make them different stories so um, I know that's probably a really hard thing to do, so I'm excited to keep reading this. I am also reading this as an audiobook and as a physical copy, and I'm a couple chapters in, so I'm excited for this. The okay. next book I'm going to be reading is The Buddy Read. We were supposed to read it in August, but we kind of pushed it to September. This is Crazy House by James Patterson. Me and Ashley from um, the Page Turners 123, that's our booktube. If, um, that's our bookstagram. If you don't follow our bookstagram, go ahead and follow now. Shameless promotion. The page turners one, two, three. It'll be right here. We are basically just two friends that love to read and 
um, we decided to um, have like a monthly buddy read and this was our buddy read this month which is Crazy House. It's by James Patterson and Gabrielle Charbonnet. Um, so it reads, no one gets out alive, 17 year old Becca Greenfield was snatched from her home and thrown without reason into hellish prison known as the Crazy House. To avoid execution she's told to shut her mouth and keep her head down. Becca was never really good at either. Her only hope for survival is for her, is for her sister Cassie to find her. That the good twin will stop following the rules and start breaking them. Before it's too late because the jailers of the crazy house soon discover they made a mistake that could get both sisters killed. What made us pick it up is because the, the front cover like right here says you can stop waiting for the next Hunger Games. And we're like, ah! So we picked it up. So I'm excited to read this and I really hope that I can get into it. I have the audiobook on hold so hopefully I get that in time before September ends. Another book that I am trying to read that I bought today, I'm excited that I bought it because I've been putting it off, is the fifth book in The Mortal Instruments. This is A City of Lost Souls by Cassandra Clare, again the fifth book in The Mortal Instruments. I have books one through four and I knew that I could not rent it because I have all of them and I'm trying to complete the set. Um, and I did have Lady Midnight, um, is it Lady Midnight? Yeah, I had Lady Midnight um, checked out and then I decided to return it because I read a review that said that you have to read the other books. Um, you have to finish reading the other books. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to finish reading The Mortal Instruments and I feel like I'm ready to continue on. My goal this year is to finish this series and begin Lady Midnight and finish Lady Lord of Shadows by the end of the year while being in nursing school. Mm. Am I hopeful? Yes. Am I positive? Yes. Glass half full, guys. Glass half full. The summer is over and I really wanted to read this book before the summer was over. This is The Unexpected Everything by Morgan Madsen. Um, there's actually been a new cover that was made for this book, but um, I think that I like this cover better. And I'll post both covers so you can see them. And you tell me which cover you like better, but I think I like book. I, I like the original cover better. I really wanted to finish this for the summer, and I just didn't. But I actually also started this. I'm only on page 17, but um, I'm determined to finish this by September because the end of September is technically really when fall starts. So if I can finish this before fall, I would have accomplished one of my summer goals. And lastly, <laughs> Passenger by Alexandra Bracken. I have been putting this book off for a really long time. It's kind of like historical fiction type of deal and I and I think there's some I don't know if there's like time travel or anything like that but I definitely know there's like something to do with music. I don't know. It has taken me a really long time to like get this into my hands. I, I'm really sorry about this glare guys. Um, just think of it as a highlight. Okay. Just, just think of it like that but like I'm really excited to, to read this I heard this is an amazing novel and I'm really I'm just I'm just ready to get into it I'm just ready to finally read Passenger. My last goal of September is to finish Saga this month and I think I can do it I think I can finish it like in a week I just need to like dedicate like 30 minutes or an hour to each one and I think that I can do that so wish me luck in September with my September TBR and my school TBR because I have a lot to read for them too. So I just I just hope that I can finish. So that's it for my September TBR. I will let you know when I finish Brent Weeks because I still haven't finished that. I will let you know. I hope that you enjoyed the video. Happy you came and stopped by. And let me know what you're reading this month and what you finished last month. Um, if you read anything great, I'd love to hear about it. Um, also, remember to follow me on Instagram and also follow my bookstagram with Ashley, which is the page turners123. I'll post all of my social media tags below. Remember to like this if you want to see more and comment and subscribe. Bye, guys.